Hi, it's Kerry. In this video, we're looking at the Amazon link importer feature and also why I like this feature a lot and just a bit of information on my strategy for using this feature, which you might also find very useful. So let's take a look at what this feature is. This is my PlayStation demo store. I use this as an example and I also like PlayStation, so, as I keep saying. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at the actual feature. So normally, if you want to add products to your store, we have an offer importer. In here, you search for the products from Amazon, from eBay, from Etsy, from wherever. You can choose your source, you can search, and it's a great way to import products. However, we recently added an alternative way for Amazon, which is a link importer. And what that means is you can paste a link to a product on Amazon into here, choose the category and import. So you might think this is a bit of a harder way to do it, but actually I quite like doing it this way sometimes and here's the reason why. So in some of my other videos and my other training, I talk about how important it is to handpick the products, to pick good products, to not fill your store with thousands and thousands of products that you know really nothing about, maybe they're good, maybe they're bad. It's all about quantity and not quality. It's all about quality and not quantity, of course. So we're looking for the best products and we're looking to make sure that we know those products are great, that they, they are the right ones, they've got good reviews, they've got good information and so on. And the best way I find to do that is to actually browse Amazon itself. So let's say I want to find a PlayStation 5 controller. When I search on Amazon, Obviously loads come up, we get the adverts, we get all kinds of stuff, we can see the official ones. Scroll down a bit, we'll get some kind of, um, yeah, like pro ones, we'll get custom ones, we'll get some third party ones, we'll get accessories. Now, if I want to add any of these to my store, I would like really to know a bit more about what the reviews are, obviously what the price is, what the details are, and to make sure that this is something I want to offer in my store. For example, this is, on the outset, looks like it could be a good product, but as I look into it a little bit more, you see the ratings are not great. 3.4 out of five. It's cheap, so that's a bit of a warning sign. I know that's cheap. I look at the images, I try to get an idea, as if I was buying the product myself, right? And I have a look at what they're saying about it, and I go down and actually read the reviews. So we can see what they're saying, it's not as advertised. This one is a free review. I can get a much better feel for if this product is something I want to put in my store, right? In this case, I would say no, I don't want that in my store, but maybe I find another one like this. Okay, it's a charging station, but the principle applies, it's cheap. However, the reviews look good, so probably I'm gonna lean more towards, okay, it is a cheap product, maybe the reviews are, are a bit fake, I'm going to look in a bit more detail. I'm going to see what people say. Maybe I, I would add this to my store. So that's the method methodology I, I tend to use for picking products. I like to have a look on Amazon, on eBay, on wherever I'm, I'm importing the products to make sure they're good. It is about quality, not quantity. And like I said, I do have other videos and training on that. So please do check it out. And yeah, let me show you then how this feature works. So if I'm picking that product, I'm going to... Okay, pick a couple of controllers that I want to add. Uh, I'm going to choose that one. I'm going to choose, I already have that one, I think. I'm going to choose a couple more. Scary Party and what else? Not that one. Yeah, we'll just take, oops. We'll just take this one is an example. Well, it's a stand. I already picked that one. <laughs> okay, we'll just take two for the purposes of this video. So we'll take this one. I'm going to copy the link out of that. You can copy the whole link. I'm just copying that because I know that that's all we need. Paste it in there. Uh, I don't need that page. And then the same with the other one. Copy the link. So for those of you that know a little bit more, you just have to make sure that the ASIN is in there, which is this identifier. Otherwise, just copy the whole link. It doesn't matter. You can copy the whole link like that and it'll still work fine. Choose the category. So I'm going to go for controllers and I'm going to click import. And it's as simple as that. 
The products will now be imported in the background. We do have a guide here as well, so you can click on that and you can read. Oh, it's coming soon because I'm recording the video at the moment, but there will be a guide there. And then let's go into products and have a look at those as they've just been added. And there we go. So the two new controllers have been added and they will be in the categories that I, that I chose, the category that I chose. So that's my strategy. In, in summary, it's really good to have a look at the product, a proper good look and to make sure that it's the kind of product you want in your store, a product you'll probably buy yourself, that it's not got bad reviews, that it's not gonna disappear after a couple of weeks, you know, that kind of thing. So quality, not quantity. I get it right this time. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and yep, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the feature. You have it in your stores, it's a new feature, but it's already been added to everybody's stores. Take care, I hope you enjoy, speak soon, bye.